Hey, it's Ken Barrett, Laundromat How To. I had a problem with the soap vending machine today. I ended up with, I came in, we found one of these um, coin acceptors jammed in. Normally that'll mean that, uh, that the soap's empty, but as we can see, it's not. So, what I had to do is inside of here, there's a small screw that goes into the top of here. You take that one out, and then these are just uh, set pins that hook into the holes. Make sure they're tight before I put it back together. Um, took the spring off that pulls the coin return that goes into this point. Got the cover off. And what we found in here is, I've already pulled this out with a pair of pliers, is one of these coins is just all mangled up. So it was jammed in there. So what we'll do is take all these out and uh, put the cover back on and get it bolted back together. Uh, one thing you gotta watch when you take these apart, if you take the wrong screws up, there's a lot of little pieces in there that'll come apart. So I suggest you want to uh, try it with one on a desk or something first or pull this whole thing out. There's some other screws in the back here that are holding a plate on, which is why I couldn't pull it all out. If you've never worked on one of these, I suggest taking those plates off. Take the whole thing out, put it on a bench, be very careful how you pull it apart. Um, you know, you can look online, get some information on it, but there's a lot of pieces in the bottom and little cams to make sure that you can't just go in and out with it quarters in it. We'll get this back together and our soap machine will be back in order again. Alright, so we got the parts back in. You can see down in here you see the four screws, the four gold colored screws there. I loosen them off just a little bit, get them hooked back in there. And then that silver screw, that's the one that holds it all into place. Um, thing to check when you're in here, look and make sure your plates aren't bent. If you look at the two there, you'll see this one looks straight. This one here has got a bit of a bend to it, so we need to get that straightened up before we're done. The other ones might be a little bent too. That's where they just get jammed in. You know, when they get the last ones. You can see down in there, that's where the pushes that box in. Once they start to come out, just push them out. Get some out of the way and just put them back in the top. But the only thing I got left to do is put the spring on. Here's one here that's already on. It goes from the back just up underneath that cover, right in there into the corner. That's what pulls this mechanism back. This other spring is what keeps that flapper so it pushes the box out of the way, flips down, slides back underneath the next one.